Today for your underwater fish pastel painting, you should have your uh, painting completely finished, just like this one, with all of your fish drawn in and colored in with the black outline around each one of them. And you should have some seaweed kind of growing up from the bottom, one big one, one small one, and some other little ones down here. Um, and you're going to need a big brush, a little brush, your watercolor container, a wash cup, we're going to call this a wash cup today, and a clean cup of fresh water. You're going to start by just taking a little bit of your clean fresh water and putting a couple dribbles into your wash cup right there. We're going to leave the wash cup there. We're going to take our big brush. You should hold your brush just like you would hold a pencil. It's a little bigger, but you should hold it just like a pencil. And you're going to take your big wash brush and you're going to go right in the blue. The blue should be between the green and the purple and you're just going to kind of rotate it around just using the tip of your brush and you're going to put it into here and make some nice blue water. Don't make it too deep or too blue. Just one or two dribbles of blue in there should do. So you have a nice light blue. Okay? You get a little bit more. We don't want it to be too dark because we don't want it to overpower the painting, the, uh, all the other drawing that we've already done. Now you've got this great oil pastel that you've just finished. I'm actually going to put a couple little more lights just right here out, coming out of that one little light. I forgot that part. And you're going to take your nice uh, blue water and you're just going to quickly draw your brush over the edge. Just like this. You can see it's, uh, I could probably add a little bit more blue in. But we don't want it to be really deep and dark yet we're just going to take this water and brush over the entire surface of our painting and you want it to be fairly watery so that it doesn't overpower your oil pastel. Okay, You see how the water here is sitting on top of my oil pastel? If you get that you can take a little piece of your paper towel and dribble, get that dribble off. Um, and I'm going to actually add a little bit more blue now. Now that I've done my whole paper, I'm going to add a little bit more blue into my wash. And I'm going to just start right down here at the bottom and add some darker blue in. Notice I'm not taking the watercolor right out of the pan. Out of here, I'm taking it out of my wash cup. I'm going to put some more blue into my wash cup to make it a little darker. Now I'm actually going to kind of clean off my brush and get some strong purple right on the tip of my brush and I'm just going to add some purple in here. Not everywhere. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to wash my brush off with my blue again. Okay, and I'm just going to get a little bit of green and add some green in. Kind of smear them together gently but carefully. And there we have our finished watercolor uh, thing. Now when you get done, you're going to take your clean, your, your brush you're going to wash it out in your clean, fresh water because everyone else is done. You're going to just blot it on your paper towel and then you're going to clean up your spot. You're going to put your brush back in the brush container. Uh, if you haven't used your little brush, you can just set it right back in your watercolor pan. Take your paper towels and kind of wipe the table underneath you so you can clean it up. And take your dirty water cup and there will be another cup at your table for dirty water. Okay, it's gonna look just like this one, just a regular cup. Dump your dirty water into that, and then myself, I will come collect the dirty waters and dump them out. Okay, at the end we need to have all of our stuff cleaned up and uh, dumped out. Okay, this is what your painting should look like when you're done.